Time and repeat <laughs>Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net This will be in the description below and then once you're on getpaint.net go over here to get it now And then go to download now And then go to free download now like that I already have it installed so I don't need to install it again And also in the description below there's gonna be a link to a bunch of paint.net plugins that I suggest uh, you download along with a video on how to install paint.net plugins so I suggest that you watch that. And once you've installed paint.net and all the plugins, just open up paint.net, go to file, new, and then make the width a thousand, and then make the height a thousand too. Click OK. And then after that, go to file, open, and then uh, we're gonna look for a wallpaper you want, uh, we're gonna use. So uh, there's a wallpaper uh, that I'm gonna use. Open this. This wallpaper will be in the description below, so you can use this if you want, along with a bunch of other wallpapers too. So press Control c and then go back to the profile picture right here, and then press Control v like that, and then just wait for it to load. And then hold Shift, left click, and then drag the corners like that. Deselect it. And then after that, go to effects, blurs, and then go over here to motion blur. And then just, uh, I'm going to do like 15. I'm going to do 17. Click OK. And then add a new layer. Go to the text tool. Make sure your primary color is white. So then after that, click anywhere. And then just type in your name. I'm going to make the font bigger, like 108. And then change the font to Nexa Light. Okay, change it to Nexa Light over here. This is going to be the first part of your text. So then just do something like this. Add a new layer. And then click on it. Click anywhere on the screen. And then type in the second part of your name. But make, make this font uh, Nexa Bold. Both of these fonts will be in the description below. So then after that, after that, go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center Vertically, like that. And then do the same thing. Effects, Object Align, and then Center Vertically. And then after that, you just want to move the text. So then go to one of the text and then move it closer, like that, or farther apart. Uh, I'm going to have to move it closer, like that. And then deselect it. Merge the two layers. Go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center both, so that it's perfectly in the middle. After that, add a new layer, and then go to the shapes tool, right here, and then make the shape a rectangle, and then over here, make it a draw shape outline, and then brush width, probably around four, like that, and then just uh, make a square around the text, like that. Uh, you don't want it to be too thick, like 11, I think that's too much, you can try five. Uh, I'm gonna stick with four actually like that and then after that go to effects object align and then center both like that there you have it oops so uh, once you're done just go to file save as and then save it anywhere on your computer uh, and then make sure to save it as a PNG name it whatever to oh, sure uh, click save and then click OK and then click flatten and you should be done so, I don't have anything else to say. So, with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.